how to use Tiny. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with Timely and start tracking the amount of work that you're putting in and the amount of time it is taking you. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to memory.ai slash Timely, or you can just search for Timely on Google. And this is going to be their homepage. Now, there are several different time tracking softwares by the name of Timely. Now, there are several different softwares available that do time tracking, and there are several by the name of Timely as well but we are going to be discussing the one provided by memory.ai so let's get into it now once you go onto their homepage, you're just going to click on start 14 day free trial and you can sign up with your google account or your work email so i'm just going to continue with my google account over here and sign up with my gmail account and this is how simple and easy the sign up process really is now, once you sign up with your Gmail account or your email, this is going to be their welcome page. So over here, you're going to have to pick out your company name and you're going to add how many people are going to be using Timely. So I'm just going to continue with just me over here to get the most accurate boarding system. And now what you're going to do is you can download the memory app or you can continue without automatic time tracking. So I'm just going to continue without automatic time tracking. And now you can import your meetings as well. So you can link your Google Calendar, your Office 3, 365 or your zoom account to make sure that if you have any meetings if you have any kind of schedule already laid out you can import all of that over here and then you're just going to click on finish over here now once you have done that this is going to be your actual basic dashboard so you can see on your left you have your hours you have tasks projects people reports invoices and then below that you have your plugins you have notifications and then you have your personal settings over here and to get started with timely you can see that you can download the automatic memory uh, application to track time automatically so that is something you can do and for most people I would recommend it but I'm just going to skip that for now and we're going to begin uh, going through the actual format of the timely application so over here what we're going to do is we're going to go into the project section and you can see over here that they have created like some sample projects for me to begin with once I log on to timely but what you're going to do is you can just click on new project over here and then you can set the project name so let's say i want to set this project name to bow tie sales and then after that i can set the color of the project so maybe i want this to be the burgundy color and then i can add a client so i can click on add new client by typing so maybe it's a new client by the name of liz and if there isn't a client by that name, you can just click on create new client over here and you can just type in Liz over here, create client. And now this client has been created. So you can also set a external ID reference if you want or require a note when logging to the project, but that is totally optional. Now, after that, you can go scroll down and then you have people and hourly rates. And this is why I love Timely is because when you're setting up the initial project, they give you the uh, maximum optimization of how many many people you have and what you are paying them by the hour so they can accurately track time and you can accurately manage your budgets and estimates so let's say um i just have this one person as myself and i can add my hourly rate so you can rate the billable rate to be the same for everyone or you can set out individual rates as well so once you set out individual rates maybe it's 12 per hour so i can set that so you can also enable a budget over here you can click on enable budget and then you can set if this is a time budget or a money budget so let's say we have a money budget and the budget is like 100 or 1000 and then you have a interval of weekly that's the weekly budget and billable hours should not exceed the weekly budget so they will make sure that the invoice is based on this instead of the logged hours if you're paying people by the hour you can do that if you're giving them a set salary or a stipend you can pay them by the budget method now below that you have your tag so with no tags, users will not be able to tag their hours. You can add all tags, so users can add their tags with any kind of workspace. Or you can have selective tags as well, so require at least one tag to be added to an hour. So in that way, people can easily account for the work that they are doing. So usually for most workplaces, it's best if you add like a select tag. And in that way, whatever time people are logging on to their timely accounts, they can add basic goal or basic tasks they completed within that list. So uh, I'm just going to click on tasks over here and I'm going to go with this and I think this is pretty good so I'm just going to click on create project over here and now my bow tie sales project has been created and I'm going to remove these sample projects that have been created 
So I'm just gonna delete this. And now you can see I have my simple little project over here. So once I click on my created project, I have these little tabs I can work with. So I have the status, the activities, the timesheets, the report, the invoices, and the basic tasks. So this is going to be a simplified version of a project manager as well. So you can even use this to manage your project uh, other than just tracking time. And you can manage your projects over here as well. Now, if you click on your My Tasks section, you can see that you have a team hub for managing your tasks in a timely fashion and you can just click on over here you can click on start trial over here and then you can begin your task planning so with this what you can do is like maybe on the first of march i want a certain task to be done and this is an unassigned task so i'm going to go into the unassigned row and i'm going to go into the first uh, of march column and i can click on this and add a title for the task so maybe i want to contact suppliers and then you can add like a detailed description you can add what kind of project is this task for so this is for bow tie sales and then you can also add a assignee you can add them by email or if you have added them to your timely workspace you can add them by name as well so what you're going to do is you can select the tag for the kind of task this is so let's say this is maybe just a administrative task and after that you can estimate the hours this would require and i'm just going to estimate this at one hour and i'm just going to click on create and now you can see i have this task created over here i have the log time and the plan time here as well so whoever is the assignee of this task can log the time that it took them to complete it plus they can also uh, take a look at the plan time or the estimated time for the task as well now you can see that you also have a check mark for completed tasks so you can view your completed tasks over here as well and you can also check the availability of the tasks so if there are any tasks that are unassigned people can assign them to themselves so you can you know lay out all the tasks and then people can assign them to themselves accordingly and you also have a timeline view like this and you can also go with a list view as well and then you can also search for only specific tasks so if you're working on a bunch of different projects and they're all very detailed and they have a lot of tasks you can only view a task from a certain uh, project as well and then you can also view them according to the assignee and in the task planning section you can just click on new task and start creating your tasks over here as well now after that you have your hour section so you can click on new entry and then you can add a note for your work so let's say i was dealing with suppliers and then you can select the project then you can, after selecting the project, you can choose any kind of tag you want. So this is administrative and then you can log like however much time you spent on this task. So let's say I spent like one hour and 15 minutes and you can also go with the to and from. So you can log the exact hours you spent or you can also go with a timer or a plan or a billable or non-billable hour entry. So you can add if this is a billable or non-billable timesheet. So you can just click on submit over here and you can see over here, I have added this on my timesheet and I'm getting the budget estimate that this is going to cost the person that is providing the money so they can budget accordingly. Now, after that, you have your report section on your left over here. So you can have monthly full workspace reports. You can have a project report. You can have the unbilled hours and the employee hours report as well and this is great for tracking uh, employee progress or uh, tracking how much time you are spending on a project that is not profiting enough so depending on whatever kind of analysis you want to do you can have accurate reports accordingly and then you have your invoices so in your invoices you can click on new invoice over here and then you can add a invoice for this project you can add a date range and let's say i want this to be for the 21st and then you can line items as tags as line items or team as line items or people as line items and then you can click on create and i have only one invoice because i only added or logged one timesheet or one kind of work so this is just creating the invoice over here so you can see over here that my invoice has been created and if i click on these three dots i can click on view invoice and then i have the invoice the quantity of work the sum of money and then the total hours due date and all that so this is how easy it is to track your work and use timely as not only a time tracking software but also a task management software so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video.